James chapter 2, verses 1 through 10, King James says, My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with respect of persons. For if there come into your assembly a man with a gold ring and goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment, and ye have respect to him that wear the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor, Stand thou there, or sit here under my footstool. Are ye not then partial in yourselves, and are become judges of evil thoughts? Hearken, my beloved brethren, had not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he has promised to them that love him? But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw before you the judgment seats? Do they not blaspheme you that thou worthy name by the which ye are called? If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, ye do well. But if ye have respected persons, ye commit sin, and are convinced of the law as transgressors. For whosoever shall keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. So the NIV says, My brothers and sisters, believers in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ, must not show favoritism. Mm -hmm. suppose a man comes into your meeting wearing a gold ring and fine clothes and a man and a poor man in filthy old clothes also comes in if you show special attention to the man wearing fine clothes and say here's a good seat for you but say to the poor man you stand there or sit on the floor by my feet have you not discriminated among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts. Listen, my dear brothers and sisters, has not God chosen those who are poor in the eyes of the world to be rich in faith and to inherit the kingdom he promised to those who love him? But you have dishonored the poor. Is it not the rich who are exploiting you? Are they not the ones who are dragging you into court? Are they not the ones who are blaspheming the noble name of him to whom you belong? If you really keep the royal law found in scripture, love your neighbor as yourself, you are doing right. But if you show favoritism, you sin and are convic convicted by the law as lawbreakers. For whoever keeps the whole law and yet stumbles at just one point is guilty of breaking all of it. Verse 11, for he who said you shall not commit adultery also said you shall not murder. If you do not commit adultery but do commit murder, you have become a lawbreaker. Speak and act as those who are going to be judged by the law that gives freedom because judgment without mercy will be shown to anyone who has not been merciful. Mercy triumphs over judgment. And so that's what I'm saying. It's like really like when these uh, people, whoever they may be, but I guess this mm -hmm. right here is talking to the church. Yeah. Uh, when they try, you know, they be saying, I don't like talking race, but the people do it preachers some preachers and stuff yep. in the church and out and so uh that's who they really talking about it's really when you when the bible the word conservative and liberal as far as politics is not in the bible mm -mm, mm -mm. god doesn't see republicans or democrats right, god right. sees sinners mm -hmm. but right. in general the the separation today of the republican democrats it seems like it's about homosexuality or abortion mm -hmm. but it's really not it's yeah. really about this passage right here yeah where he's talking about right here where he says in verse which verse was that um, respect well he says the rich 
verse 6, but ye have despised the poor. Do not reach me and oppress you and draw you before judgment seats. That means they're always taking you to court because you own money. Mm -hmm. You know, especially what we see now is happening since the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And so this is what the Bible says, the New Testament. We are to be New Testament Christians. Yep. That's what this is talking about. He's don't know nowhere in here says nothing about no conservative or Republican. <clears throat> but the Republican Party is all about money. Yeah. The Bible say the love of money is the root of all evil. That's right. Not some evil, all evil. That's right. And God, God hates sin. You know, there is no uh, Republican. God don't see no Republican or Democrat no, or independents. No. Mm -mm. He sees sinners. That's right. That's right. And so uh, that's so I just noticed this passage here. Uh, that's what he's saying. And right here, this is Sally, but this is true. What he says right here, verses two, for if there come unto your assembly, a man with a gold ring and goodly apparel, and there come also a poor man in vile raiment, that's homeless people. And you have respect yep. to him that wear the gay clothing, which means the nice clothing, yep. and say to him, sit here in a good place, and say to the poor man, mm -hmm. stand over there. Look, we don't even offer him a seat yep. or sit here under my footstool. We do that in the church. How do yep. we do this today? I heard one preacher say, it was a guy, I think he was in Texas. And he had his, his uh, church building was uh was the church of christ his church building was mm -hmm. i'm gonna guess somewhere near downtown where the mm -hmm. homeless people congregate yeah and he told them and it broke my heart i started crying and he told the people he said if you he said if you in here try to go to any of these other churches in town which he meant you know, churches where the people wear gay clothing, nicely dressed. Yeah. He said they wouldn't want you in there. They would tell you you're not welcome. Mm -hmm. They probably wouldn't even greet you. Yeah. And it's sad, but it's true. This is what this passage is talking about. This is how this relates to the world we live in today. And it's heartbreaking. Yeah, that's right. But that's what's happening. And so this is what he's saying. This is what I focus on as a Christian when I decide who I'm going to vote for. Do they care about poor people? Because all of us are sinners. That's right. So I can't, I'm not going to pick a side that's only against abortion that's right. and, and, uh, 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 what's the other one? Uh, homosexual. homosexuality when, when adultery mm -hmm. and fornication is worse. That's right. Yeah, right. It don't seem worse, but it is. The reason it don't seem worse because it's accepted. Yep. It has been accepted in our society. That's right. Yeah. When last time you heard someone say, oh, this abortion, I mean, this adultery has gotten out of hand. Yeah. When you off pornography. When yeah. you heard that. Yeah, you heard it. Yeah. There, there are some forums and stuff against pornography, but where's the forums against the other forms of sexual immorality? Why are they just going to pick one part of sexual yeah. immorality? Oh, that's causing the worst uh, problems in the world. That's not true. Mm hmm no, nothing is causing worse problems more than divorce and adultery and fornication. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, those three can even create, well, not create, but uh, encourage homosexuality right. or gender confusion. I guess that's the term they want to use today. But here in the book of James, I like it. And then at the end. You know, he, what he talks about here in verse uh, 8, if you fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, ye do well. You, ye do do well, King, King James. <laughs> it's hard to say. But if you show favoritism, but 9, verse 9, but if you show favoritism, you sin and are convicted by the law as lawbreakers. That's favoritism. Yep, I'm going to yep. pick two sins. I, I'm just going to ignore the other sins. Mm -hmm. we're just going to focus on these two no as true Christians we supposed to hate all sin we don't pick two sins that we think are worse all sin is bad yeah yeah the sin of lying and gossiping mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 being greedy and yeah. selfish I'm trying to think of the sins that we don't hardly preach about people don't preach about in the church gluttony. anymore gluttony oh yeah that's a good one yeah being greedy and, and eat, overeating, which I know I've been guilty of overeating. But God has been telling me, focus on do all things in moderation. That's what I've been doing, trying to do all things in moderation. That's right. 
And so that's what we need to do. So that's that's the Bible is it's about love. We are under love. Yeah, we have to speak the truth. I speak the hard truth all the time on my channel, Terry Temple. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of my lessons, but I'm trying to, you know, Titus, trying to follow Titus chapter two. It's not too easy to do, especially on the channel, because some of you have to do basically in person as a whole. But you notice here. He brought up adultery. Mm -hmm. And what did he say right here? So just let me show you. Just, just let me insert this right here. King James verses 11. For he that said do not commit adultery. Said also do not have an abortion. Now if thou commit no adultery. Yet if thou have an abortion. Thou art become a transgressor of the law. Mm -hmm. It's both. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Neither one is better. He's trying to say, don't just focus on one sin. Yeah. Is that not what he's saying? What he's saying? But is that not what these other, some of these people want to do in politics? Yeah, that's right. Uh, that love being, you know, love, uh, uh, what, what love, uh, uh, promoting the American mm -hmm. flag. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they do this in other countries around the world as well that profess to being Christians. Yeah. But he said, he's telling you right here, don't focus on one sin over the other. Verses 12, so speak ye and do and so do as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. The NIV says, speak and act as those who are going to be judged by the law that gives freedom. So like what is what is the law that gives liberty? What does that bring to mind to you, mm -hmm. husband? Uh, the, the new the new law. The New Testament? Yeah, New Testament. Mm -hmm. New law of Christ, perfect law of liberty, James 125. And so, what does it mean by liberty, though? The law that the law of liberty. Free from the, 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 the law of the Ten Commandments. Right? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. See, yeah, that's good too. That's good because we're always thinking it means we can just live however we want, yeah. do whatever we want. Yeah. But he's talking about free from being mm -hmm. uh, uh, practicing a religion of Judaism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was very. Uh, it was a very, very uh, burdensome. Law, especially with the animal sacrifices yeah, yeah. and stuff like that, it was very hard. A uh, law to abide uh, by. Mm -hmm. So he was basically, yeah, talking again to the Christian Jews mm -hmm. to uh, once again, like Pastor mm -hmm. Paul was always trying to tell them. Yeah. When he was saying, you ain't got to follow those laws anymore. The mm -hmm. rules and regulations that was created under the law of Moses. We don't have to do that. That's what he's talking about. That's right. That's right. And so then verse 13. For, for he shall have judgment without mercy that have showed no mercy and mercy rejoices against judgment. And it just reminds me of uh, these people. They don't want to call themselves conservative. Yeah, and they uh uh, which sin is sin, and they uh they're not merciful. I don't see no mercy with no, them people. No, they ain't merciful. God bless them, whoever they are, whether they're in the church or out. But I don't see a lot of mercy. Mm -hmm. No, we don't see no. I don't see no mercy. It's like they can't wait to pound the gavel when it comes to other people, poor people especially. They can't wait. Poor people are people of color. They can't wait to pound a gavel and, and send them to jail. But when it comes to their own people, mm -hmm. they're very, you know, they slap on the wrist. Yeah, yeah. And so that's like the Black Lives Matter movement. I'm not totally, and I won't say I'm not, I ain't, I'm not against it. Have I went out there and marched or something? No. But the Black Lives Matter movement was basically saying Black Lives Matter too. Amen. Amen. They wasn't saying uh, that no other life matter. That's right. And Amen. the reason it came about because these police were doing right here where the scriptures say don't do. But of course they in the world. Mm -hmm. But then you have a lot of people that profess to being Christians. They justify that. Well, he shouldn't have been running from the cops. Well, yeah. your people or a lot of other people run from the cops all the time about put a bullet in the back of their head. Mm -hmm. And we're just, all I'm saying is that that don't deserve the death penalty yeah. because yeah. you stole something from the store or even a car 
and you're running from the scene, that don't deserve you get that don't deserve the death penalty. That's right. That's right. But they don't give their people the death penalty. God loves all people. Man, man, all man. lives matter but the black lives matter movement was just saying our lives matter too and stop giving us the death penalty over frivolous yeah. laws that would probably just be a misdemeanor that's what i'm trying to say yeah, yeah and these are people in the world these people are not christians most of them people they are not christians i tell you the police pulled me over he ain't got to tell me twice to do nothing matter of mm. fact he might not even have to tell me the first time mm. You know what I'm trying to say? But these are people in the world and we supposed to be kind and loving like this passage says right here. Verses eight. NIV says, if you really keep the royal law found in scripture, love your neighbor as yourself, mm. you are doing right. But if you show favoritism, you sin and are convicted by the law as lawbreakers. That's all I'm trying to say. Yep. Yep. That's all I'm saying right here when I'm saying them shooting people, the black lives matter. We're supposed to love all people as Christians. I'm not going to pick sides. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love all people. We as Christians are supposed to love everybody. We're supposed to treat people how we want to be treated. Yeah. But some people act like they can't figure that out. No, but this is a very evil world. There's a lot of hate going on in the world. And I don't believe in voting for hate mongers. In any way, shape, or form, mm -hmm. in the church mm -hmm. or out. I'm not voting for no hate monger mm -hmm. because this is what people don't get about hate mongers. They think that hate can't trans can backfire and transfer on them. That hate can backfire. Mm -hmm. We've seen it, mm -hmm. even in this day and age. Yeah. That's why now you have right now you have Republicans and Democrats where it used to only be one party. I don't know if it was just a republic. I think it used to just be a Republican party. Mm -hmm. Now it's divided. Why? Because that hate started backfiring. Yeah, yeah. And the people who call themselves Democrats now, they weren't allowed to love everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They weren't allowed to love, <coughs> excuse me, they wasn't allowed to love people of color. Yeah. They would be called the N-word, you N-lover. Mm -hmm. They couldn't love all people. Yeah. And they see it now. And I thank God. I'm grateful. I thank God that there are people of other races that love all people. True. true. Instead of people only ma mainly loving their own people. Mm -hmm. And then want to hide behind the veil of Christianity. Want to put this smoke screen up that they're God-fearing, God-loving people. No, you're not. You're idolatrous people yeah. who love the flag, American flag over God. That's, That's right. what it is. That's right. And God allowed 2020 to happen. So not only could we see it, but we already saw it. Yeah. But so that they can see it. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. So that's why I believe, but we have to stick with the word. But the division, according to this right here, it's about money. Yeah. Can you tell them right here? And this is happening in the church today. Like you said, they walk in. You can tell a person rich or got a bunch yeah. of money yeah. by the car they drive. Mm -hmm. I wonder sometimes I went to these churches where, uh, uh, and I drove up in a Mercedes. I wanted or Rolls Royce. I wonder if I would have got treated different than mm -hmm. the, some of these churches I went to, where yeah, the people yeah. wouldn't even shake my hand. Yeah. I wonder if I drove up in a Rolls Royce with that shake my hand. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. yeah. I definitely don't wear no uh, designer clothes. I ain't saying nothing wrong with. I don't wear designer clothes. I might have some designer perfume. Yeah. But I don't wear designer clothes by choice. Mm -hmm. Don't nobody know it. You win, win until you tell them. Yeah. And then they, what, you have to have the, what, they put the tag on it so you could. Yeah. Tommy Hill Fiber, and you got to put a tag because nobody knows. They look like a shirt you got from Walmart until you say something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Which I have no problem shopping at Walmart as far as clothes uh, go. Uh. He don't shop there that much, but anyway, it don't matter. But this is what he's talking about here, right here. And then the, the passage you were talking about in 5. Can you read King James 5 verses what? Uh, 1 through husband. Uh, James 5? Oh, yeah. Go read down to verse 7. James chapter 5. Go, go to now. Ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Mm -hmm. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and your silver is cankered, and the rest of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it, as if, as it were fire. 
Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entering into the ears of the Lord of the Sabbath. Ye have lived in pleasure on earth and been wanton. Ye have nourished your hearts as in the day of slaughter. <coughs> ye have condemned and killed the just. Wow. And he does not resist you. That was verse number five. One through five, James. NIV says, Now listen, you rich people, weep and well because of the misery that is coming on you. Your wealth has rotted and moths have eaten your clothes. Your gold and silver are corroded. Their corrosion will testify against you and eat your flesh like fire. You have hoarded wealth in the last days. Look, the wages you failed to pay, mm -hmm. the workers who mowed your fields are crying out against you. The cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. Mm -hmm. You have lived on earth in luxury and self-indulgence. You have fatted yourselves in the day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered the innocent one who was not opposing you. Yeah, and he's talking about poor people. Mm -hmm. He's talking about poor people. And so this, this, that's why the book of James, that's what he's talking about. So it connects with chapter two. And I like in here when he says... Uh, Verse 5, hearken, my beloved brethren, have not God chosen the poor That's of right. this world rich in faith? That's me. Yep. I, I was born in the poverty. Yep. That's right. And heirs of the kingdom, which he have promised to them that love him. Poor people love God. Yes, That's I mean. why he choose the poor. Yep. Whether very rich or wealthy. He ain't talking about the average person here in America that... That, that has a closet full of stuff or a garage full mm -hmm. of stuff. He's talking about the wealthy mm -hmm. that probably have like four or five houses and, and hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, millions mm -hmm. of dollars, mm -hmm. billionaires and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think sometimes we want these people when they come into our church, we want hoping, you know, some of the leaders, church leaders in general, I'm speaking in general, some church leaders, they want them to make a healthy donation. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I wish they didn't give me a million dollars. Oh, if they just made a million dollar donation just mm -hmm. one time, boy, we have it made and we could finish that other building over there. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. And so, but, but so then that's why the church, some churches show those people favoritism. I'm not going to say all churches. Yeah. It's only God is all knowing. But anyway, so I just wanted to talk about that because I see that's what's happening today Yeah, in yeah. the world today. That's what's going on. This Bible is very relative. The New Testament yeah, is very, very relative. The Old Testament isn't as relative. This is why a lot of us have a hard time understanding the Old Testament. But the New Testament is very relative sure is. as to what's happening today. And it's going to always be relative till Jesus comes. That's right. That's because right. this is the age. That's what Jesus, he used to talk about, the age. Mm -hmm. The end of the age. We still in that age called the last days yeah and it's going to be the last days till the day of the lord till that's christ right. come back which no one knows when he's coming back that's right but that's what's going on in this world it's all about money all about it's all money. about money all about money worshiping money and power because money equals power mm -hmm. that's what's happening in this political world today and yep. bringing politics into the church is not good because god sees sinners he yeah. don't see no political party. That's right. So we need to leave that out in the world. That's right. Just preach sin. Yeah. You don't have to preach which side or whatever. Both sides are all three independent, Democrat, Republican in the United States. All three have sin. Mm -hmm. And neither one is better. Yeah. As we just read, when he compared adultery with murder. That's right. That's right. And didn't even mention homosexuality. No. He didn't mention it. Yeah. And I'm not saying it's right. I'm just trying to make a point. Yep. Yeah. Because we can't, we can't categorize sin, and we ain't under the Ten Commandments. That's right. We ain't got to keep the Sabbath. Mm -mm. And so, uh, so that's what's happening in the world today. And so that's what uh, I just wanted to share. And thanks for sitting here chatting with me. Like, we do this every morning, me and my husband. Yeah. We sit and do this, <laughs> not every yeah. morning, but we do, especially on his off days from work, we sit here and talk about stuff like this. I call it hot topics. Yeah. Cause sometimes I get too, I get excited. Sometimes a little too excited, but I get excited about it because I'm a passionate person, especially for the Lord. 
And so, uh, but that's what's going on in the world today. It's about rich and poor. Yeah, yeah. And we see it in America now, the gas prices. God has blessed us. Well, we don't have to worry about that. But the gas, but the average American, the gas price, they can't afford this gas. Yeah, yeah. And the food prices. And I just left the store yesterday. I wasn't buying food, but I was buying some stuff. I'm like, I'm ready to walk out of here. Till I realized they had a sale, 50% off. Well, I'm going to walk out of this store. Even though I had money to pay for it, the prices are ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. But that's because of hateful people mm-hmm. that chose power over people. That's right. That's and right. so it messed up the economy in the United States. It made it worse because mm-hmm. the leaders of this country chose power over people. Yep. And so now we're still suffering. That's right. So put someone in office for four years and we're still suffering, but we're going to always suffer. This world is going to always suffer and we're going to be down here suffering with it. But God is with us and helping us and answering our prayers and giving us the strength yeah. to get through. Yeah, that's right. That's why we ain't jumping off of buildings, committing suicide and stuff, because we have Jesus. Yep. Those yep. of us who have obeyed the gospel and who trust God. We have Jesus. He is helping us. But this world is a mess. It's always going to be a mess. Yep. It's never going to stop being a mess. No matter who's in office, it's going to always be a mess because this is the world. And so as Christians, we're supposed to stay within the love of God and within the scriptures and preach the scriptures. That's right. Sin is sin. Preach the Bible. Don't preach politics. That's right. And love all people. And the answer is just treat people how you you want to be treated. If you don't know what to do, just go with that. If you don't know how to treat people, just do with that and the other scriptures. That's right. You know, of course, there's other passages, but for the sake of time. So, you have anything else to say? No, that's it. That's it. That's it. pretty good. Oh, thanks for chatting with me and uh, letting me record this. Okay. I know we've been trying to do this for a while, huh? Yeah. Just think about having a series on this, but I don't know. I don't know. Only God knows. Praying God's will be done. Okay, that's it. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for listening. All right. Chat All with right. you later. Let me know if you have any prayer requests or anything, any comments. God bless you. May you always, God bless you. May you always be a blessing wherever you go. Bye-bye.